Welcome! Today we are talking about Simbarun, the dark fantasy game uh, by a Swedish role-playing producer called Jarnringen, uh, recently translated into English and uh, even more recently, pretty much as we speak, it is being translated in several other languages. Now, because I'll be running a lot of games of Simbarum on my YouTube channel, I'll be making some videos to explain the setting, the rules and such of Simbarum, so I don't have to uh, do it over and over again at the start of every single one-shot. Now, this is the rulebook, this is Simbarum, and it is becoming one of my favorite games very quickly. It's a dark fantasy game, very gritty, very dangerous, filled with um, greed and corruption and darkness, but that's exactly how I like it. And in this video, we will be talking about the setting itself, the background in Sim of Simbarum. Now, the whole story starts 21 years ago in the great realm of Alberator. The realm was attacked by the Dark Lords, a powerful group of um, wizards or sorcerers uh, f who were forcing the dead to do their bidding. These legions of walking dead called the Dragul nearly tore Alberator to shreds. The great battle king of Alberator, Inedar, fell in combat and his daughter, the young queen Corinthia, was captured by the Dark Lords and horribly wounded ever since uh, hiding her visage with a porcelain mask. However, her knight saved Corinthia and the Dark Lords were slain and defeated. Nonetheless, the long years of war had left the land of Alberator once so rich and fertile, blackened, empty and dead. Nothing grew in the fields anymore and all the animals slowly died on their pastures. Queen Corinthia decided to lead her people north, above and across the mountains, the titans, the large mountain range that was the northern border of the old, now destroyed, realm of Alberator. They crossed the mountains and they found the lush plains bordering an ancient dark forest. This realm was supposed to become Ambria, the Shining, as Queen Corinthia called it and she led her battle-hardened legions against the barbarian tribes that had claimed this land, pushed them back, destroyed several of them, and raised the standard of Prios, the sun god high, the one god whose light burns within the heart of every man and woman and child. And with the Templars, with the priests, strengthening her legions, Queen Corinthia was victorious. This was 21 years ago, and ever since, the barbarian tribes have been pushed further and further north. The realm of Umbria, the Shining One, grew with every year and is now encompassing everything between the Titan Mountains to the south and the borders of this ancient, dark, mysterious, shrouded and yet eerily beautiful forest that the people here call Davokar. And this forest is a very important part of this setting, for within dark ancient Devakar lie the ruins of a civilization that has been destroyed and fell a thousand years ago. And this civilization is the civilization of Simbarum. It left behind many ruins, and these ruins are filled with riches and old magics, for Simbarum was a powerful realm filled with wizards and sorcerers, who created and left behind many trinkets and many riches. However, the evil that pulled down Simbarum is still there, slumbering in the ground, waiting in the ruins, waiting to be awakened. The wandering dead, savage tribes, corrupted abominations, and dangerous wild animals are some of the many deadly parts of the old forest of Davokar. However, most dangerous of all, one could say, are the elves of the Iron Pact. Mysterious, cold-eyed, pale-faced beings who have sworn to slay all those who dare enter the old ruins. For they have sworn and see themselves as the guardians of these ruins. And they wish to make sure that the ancient evil is not disturbed that it cannot spread and that it will never wake again. The realm of Ambria grows. Uneasy alliances are made with many barbarian tribes. Politicians scheme and treasure hunters set out 
to enter Davakar and claim riches and powers for themselves. They have built their own city, Thistlehold, the city of adventurers, the city of treasure hunters, lying at the very foot of the great forest of Davakar. These men, these women, are coming from many different backgrounds. Some of them are not human at all. And they all wish to enter Davakar and return and claim its riches or die trying. That is the setting of Simbarum, and it is a dark, it is a corrupt setting where danger is behind every corner, but it also has its beacons of light and truth and justice, and it is up to the player character to decide which part of the scales they're falling on. I hope I will see you in the game of Simbarum and in the realm of Ambria. Keep your eyes peeled, we'll be running quite a few Simbarum games on this channel. And until then, see you around.